Hi, in this video we're going to look at the probability calculator in GeoGebra, just a very brief overview on how it works. So what you need to do is open up GeoGebra, and Algebra, GeoGebra opens up, it looks like this, and we will we'll make that bigger. Right, what you need to do is you need to go to the view men menu, and there's one of these is the probability calculator, which is this one there. So select that, and this one comes up. Make it large, okay. And what is a good idea is to grab this bit down here, so this down here, grab it like that to changes and bring this up a little bit. So here we have the normal distribution, okay. At the moment, it's set between minus one and one standard deviation. However, changing it here will make it less than one. But you can change the number here to anything you like, like 2. Okay, and it gives you the probability and the graph changes, or more than 2. Okay, and let's just change the number back to 1 again. Okay, and then you can, let's put it back less. You can change to do the inverse, you can actually change that to being 0.9, and it will give you the value of x that goes with that. Okay, you can change the mean and the standard deviation of the distribution. Okay, and if you wanted uh, the community distribution function, you can do that, but that's probably not going to be very much useful. But this is how what you get when you do the tables. Okay, so that's the normal distribution. The other one that's quite useful to look at is the binomial. Okay, so here we have binomial set uh, default binomial 20 and um, 0 0.5. So again, we can put it between two values, less than a value, more than a value, and this one is known as the community distribution function. So you've got the set of tables here for any community distribution function, not just the ones that are published in the tables. You can change P to whatever you want, and you can change N to what you want. To click that back, it will go back to that. Also, you can click and you'll get a normal uh, distribution around it as well. Okay, so that, that's quite useful. You can change the value of n if you wanted to, you can even make it high values. Uh, you can make it to high values as you can see it looks more like a normal distribution for high values of n the other useful one is the Poisson distribution which is here as well okay so this is Poisson uh, mean of 4 by default we can change the values here 5 again less than in between two values less than a value and again, you've got the community distribution function there, and you get the community distribution tables here for any value of mu or land. Mu is lambda. In, this is the mean of the distribution. Going, clicking back will take you back to that. Again, you can put a normal around it, take the normal off it. Okay, so it's quite a useful uh, tool to be able to use when you don't actually have any tables available for you. Okay, so this has just been a very, very brief introduction of the probability calculator in GeoGebra. I hope you've understood and I hope you'll find this uh, useful. Thank you very much for watching.